Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Tumpatie sadaka ya makofi. Basi tunataka kuwakaribisha wale wako nyumbani na wale wanatutazama. Madika nasema popote Yesu walienda waandishi walikuwa hapo wakitafuta mahali anaweza kukosea ili waweze kumshika na kumshtaki what i want to bring to you is a when you hear wakati mambo yatatokea kwa sababu utaolewa utaoa utakuwa na biashara ita yumba yumba utakuwa na kanisa Letafika mahali li kanisa zinafanyaga hivi zinatupa watu wengine linafanya likikaa likifika hapo lina shaken hivi hata la mwenyewe Yesu Kristo anawauliza hata nyinyi mwataka kwenda walifika mahali ika ikashekeniwa so wakati imeshekeniwa wakati trouble imekuja kama sasa wale mko na kansa already tunataka kutagasa national disaster wale mmeenda kwa daktari na amesema that's what is the the end now sasa anakuambia either wende kwa waganga ama wende kanisani what will happen tutaendelea namna gani tutafanya namna gani nataka kufundisha vitu kadha wa kadha zile ambazo wewe kama mkristo wewe kama mtu wa Mungu Mungu anategemea from your decision not from the anointing that is upon you the anointing will come after you make a decision to go or not to go inasema hivi katika Samweli wa kwanza 21 mstari wa kumi, all the way to number 15 nafundisha nitafundisha mambo kadha wa kadha Watu wakaja wakasema Daudi akaonekana pale. Watu wakaja wakasema huyu huyu si ni ule aliibiwa nyimbo huyu. Akaibiwa nyimbo makumi elfu na Sauli makumi na Sauli elfu moja. Inasema Daudi aliposikia haya maneno akayatia moyoni mwake. Ninaogea how to deal with those issues then you include god kama ukifanya peke yako my friend you will kill yourself you will die early but once you involve god to everything you want to do you want to travel you want to have a ministry you want to to do whatever as long as you are christian what to do ukichukua na mwili my friend your time is limited daudi aliposikia hivyo inasema maandiko akayatia yale maneno akayatia yale maneno moyoni mwake na akafadhaika akaanza kujifanya wazimu kwa sababu amechukua kubuka this man is anointed This man is the one God has chosen to fight for Israel. Ninaogea na wale mko na kansa, naogea na wale mko na madeni, naogea na wale mko ije, naogea na bwana yako alieda, alichukuliwa na mke mwingine, naogea na what whoever. Daudi akachukua mabo na mwili. Alipochukua mabo hayo na mwili ikawa mzito kwake na akaanza kujifanya wasimu, muguruki, wakanyuge the man with anointing wakati utachukua mambo kwa mwili pasipo kuhusisha roho utakatakata watu masikio utarudi ukavue samaki kule utakatakata watu masikio utarudi kule ukavue samaki tena kwa sababu ya little knowledge about the kingdom of god 
That's why Mungu anawacha Israeli aigie kwa 400 years. That's why anawasugusha 40 years. That's why anawacha Musa asaliwe kwa farao. 40 years, anampereka jagwani, 40 years. Anamuonesha nyoka, miti ikiwa nyoka, anamuonesha, anamuonesha. Mungu awezi kukutuma kama hamja kubariana, kama haja jitroduce kwako, no matter ujinga wako. That cannot stop God from using you. Unakigugumizi, unamugumoja mfupi, that is man obstacle, but not spiritual obstacle. Those cannot stop God from using you. You are learned or not learned. It is not about university. It is about heaven. The university, they don't know where is heaven. But God will teach you and show you. You'll have a dream. You will hear the voices that the technology cannot hear. Consult. Shamweli wa kwanza 22, after iyo vitu zimetedeka, sasa Daudi akaja kwa his sales. Akaja kwa mawazo yake sasa, okay. Aka kubuka sasa. Aka mwabia mfalme, wacha baba yangu na mama yangu wakai hapa, niende nikajue vile buwana anataka. Wacha kubeba maboyote kwa mwili peke yake. Wacha kubeba mabo yote unasikia, mabo yote na hape ni kwako, kwa, kwa mwili. Consort. Daudi ya kaenda kajificha. Na alipo kuwa pale ya mejificha, nabia kaja. Haka mwabia sasa usikai hapa. Wakati ya najifanya wasimu, nabia akuja. Wakati ya najifanya wasimu, anamwaga mate, nabia haku ogea na ee. Wakati Daudi amewachana na hiyo sasa akaenda kutafuta Mungu. Sasa nabii akaja kumwambia, "Sasa usikae hapa. Usikae hapa. Eda huku kwa ile mpango huku. Hizo ndio natengeneza pango, mtakuwa mkienda huku kukaa." Shamwari wa kwanza 23 number 1 number 5. Daudi akasikia watu wanapiga keira. Ninaogea na nyinyi wale ambao you want to serve God. Daudi alipo sikia, sababu ninajua kuna mabo umesikia. Umesikia kwa daktari. Umesikia nyanya yako alisema. Umesikia sijui watu amesema. Sijui manager amesema utawacha kazi. Sijui amesema na mnagani. Sijui mwiri unasikia na mnagani. Nasikia upade hii ni kama. Eh, Unaedo nabia daktari. Upade hii ni kama ina, nasikia inaganda. Anakuwa bia hiyo ni stroke. Sasa Daudi aliposikia hivyo wale watu wake wakamwambia ai hatuwezi kuenda Keila kama hii shida tuko nayo hapa inatusubua sasa kule Keila si tutaenda ku Matuka nasema and David oh god my father and David consulted the lord Niede. Enda. Utaeda na mimi. Dio ni taeda na oe. Na utaeda kuwa poko nyawote. The level I am now. It's only God. Who knows my tomorrow. Na ogea na mtu wabaya atasugukuwa na mambo. Shababu it is biblical. Ni normal. Ni kawaida. Ni kawaida ya kuachwa na, na mambo mengi. Ni kawaida ya marafiki za kukwenda. Ni kawaida ya biashara ulikuwa mezoe ya kuisha. Ni kawaida. Iyo ndiyo jia nyingi buwana na pitishiaga watu. Na kubuka after kupeana duka yangu. Mke wangu alikuwa na niuliza, sasa kweli ni mugu alikuwa biwa peana iduka. Mana tulieda chini, nikawa naenda kusiaga maidi na hapo kwa hile kitu ya kusugusha. After giving my shop, 
nilikuwa nimenunua vitu on Friday we are 50,000 that was a lot of money na hizo pesa ni zile ambazo nimegather na mkokoteni nimegather na baiskeri nimegather na pikipiki na hizo hizo nimesipeana one day after kusipeana one day badala nigeenda kesho kwa mujiza mkubwa i went down nikaenda chini kabisa mpaka I was almost liberating but inside me there was something that could not accept to regret Daudi akasikia Saudi anakuja kumuita kumtafuta Daudi akauliza Mungu atakuja kabio yeye atakuja Daudi akauliza Mungu watu wa hapa watanitoa e eh, watakutoa Baba yangu ulieda wapi Ulikuwa naongea na watu Ulienda wapi Kwa nini ulituacha We are so oppressed We don't know left or right. Daudi akaenda akauliza Mungu. Naye Mungu akamwambia, "Huyo Saudi atakuja." Watu wa hapa watanitoa au au watu watakutoa? Watakupeana. Let us read the Psalms 55 and number 22. Leave your trouble with the Lord. And he will defend you. He never lets honest people be defeated. I repeat, leave your trouble with the Lord, and he will defend you. He never lets honest people to be defeated. Mwachie bwana shida zako na hata mwache mtumishi wake awe ashindwe that's why whenever you go to the lord doesn't matter what you did if it is wrong you have to confess and tell god i have committed this and this sham i committed i don't know how they came to my my life zigine nimetenda na sijui ziliigiaje kwa spirit yangu nikaanza kuzi practice there are some people who are sinning not because they have chosen that but it is because a spiritual world wamekuwa connected wamekuwa disconnected maombi kaisha na maombi ilipoisha wakawa wadogo katika ulimwengu wa kiroho na sasa hapo wakajikuta yule mwenye kupanda begu mbaya amekwisha panda Mwachie bwana shida zako nataka kufundisha mambo ambayo inaweza kuinua roho yako kurekebisha roho yako kurekebisha roho roho ni mtu mwingine anaweza kuwa ametebea hivyo ameenda hivyo akakungua amesikiliza habari za huyu akachukua nusu kwa hivyo ikamwaffect maana ilikuwa ni ya uongo ama mtu akamtia chumvi eh hey, ni utauawa na hakuna mtu wa kumuua kwa hivyo roho ya huyu mtu ikaanza kufadhaika kurekebisha na batu ni kuinua madhabahu madhabahu ya wakati ule awezi kuishi na madhabahu baba yako alikupatia awezi kuishi na madhabahu ya 2015 madhabahu ya 2015 imepitwa na wakati madhabahu ya 2015 madhabahu ya 2017 imepitwa na wakati pesa zimebadilika noti ni nyingine madhabahu iliyokuwako wakati wa moi you can't bring it now here it can't work touch screen imetokezea tv ziko na everything 
kuinua madhabahu kuinua madhabahu ya wakati ama ya mahali kuinua madhabahu ya wakati ama ya mahali umeolewa unatoka na madhabahu ya usichana unaenda kwa nyumba it doesn't work umeoa unakuja na madhabahu ya, ya ujana kwa nyumba it doesn't work unafugua kanisa unakuja na ma, madhabahu ya mshirika it doesn't work Lazima uelewe kuvunja na kujenga. Number three, umeenda ugenini. Unahitaji what we call separation. Separation ni wakati msichana anaolewa. Kule kwetu alikuwa anapewa kitanda na na kiondo na mwiko. I think na safuria. Alikuwa anapewa kitanda yake. Hiyo hiyo alikuwa analalea kitanda na mkodoro na vitu zake hizo na hiyo mukwa na sabulia. Anabadikwa sabuli mukwa kwa hiyo kiodo kwa kichwa. Anakuwa separated from that family. Hata akifa awezi kuzikwa na hii familia. Sababu ameenda kule, sababu ametolewa mali. She is no longer belongs to this family. Na hata wale watakwenda kule watakwenda ugenini. Na wewe kijana ukienda kwa mkazi kwa, kwa mama mukwe hakulalagwi siku mbili. Mtu alala siku moja tu kesho yake unaondoka. Ilikuwa ni msizoeane nao. Ukienda ugenini unahitaji kufanya ibada ya separation. Umetoka hapa umeenda nchi za ugeni. Umeenda kule kunafanywa kazi na dola. Unahitaji kutoka kwa Kenya shillings uanze kufanya ibada za dola. Kuna mama moja yuko ja, yuko Marekani. Alinitumia 7777. Nikamtumia Messi nikamwambia this is wrong. This is not right. Sababu, this is Kenyan shilling and you are in United States. This is only $100. Ete lokeva all, keta all those things. Erifu saba na miya saba ni kamuambia. Ilikuwa ni ngombe saba, kodo saba, busi saba, saba. Lakini tukafupisha diyo watu waweze kuigia. Lakini haiku hati hiyo, ni kamuambia sasa we umetoka Kenya uku Amerika. Kwa nini nataka kufanya ibada ya shillings? I thank God akatuma tena akasema I am sorry. Ibada ya separation. Hizo roho ziko hapa tu ziko nyuma yako. That's why boys are still texting your phone. Girls are still texting your phone. You are married, but they are still sedicing you. Because in the spiritual world, there is no separation. You are still in their camp. That's why you feel that. That's why ato unaweza kukaa kwa mitandao. Ile nilisema ukitafuta guwe zile zimeletwa za watu wa zimu. Watu wana akili mbaya. Watu wamekufa lakini wanaishi. How can you walk naked in front of your father? You can walk naked with, in front of your mother. Because you are the same category. But you can't walk naked in front of your father. Father asini watu kisirani kabisa. Akikuona tu hivyo vanyi. Jamani. Iyo peke yake in hari maisha yako. If you don't know. Hata kumuona ye uchi wake. Sijui kama wa mama muna zoyana na wasichana. I don't know. Sisi hatu zoyana gina mutu. Hata kijana. Hatu zoyani na mutu kwa uchi wetu. Hatu wogi na watoto sisi. Hata samwedi ya na muabia saudi. Muabia uyu mutu wako wa soke bere. Edake hapo. Elimu yagu itakataana na yako. 
kwa sababu unaona nakuja na dini mpya nasema una ugumu ya kutoka kwa hizo dressing kwa sababu spiritually haujatengwa utoke kwa wamama uende kwa wasichana nini uende kwa married utoke kwa wasichana uende kwa walioolewa sasa ulienda tu ni kuzaa umezaa na kuzaa cannot change kuzaa hata hawa wasichana wamezaa watoto bili kwa hivyo kuzaa iwezi kukubadilisha kile kitakubadilisha ni ni, ni madhabahu kuvunja ile ya usiana kuingia hii ya wamama kwa wamama kuna kisirani nyingi si kama kwa wasichana ukija kwa wamama na na roho ya wasichana uwezi kaa kwa nyumba nyumba ziko na mambo mengi sana ni vile haujuagi nyumba ziko na mambo nyingi sana kwa hivyo kama hautatoka kule utakuja na ya usichana kutakuwa na divorce millions a day sababu madhabahu ya wasichana iwezi ikahandle kisirani ile iko kwa nyumba mtoto ameanza kulia ame lia the whole night mse amekuja naye ni huyu ana viatu moja amekuja amepata mshahara jana ameingia hapo ati kunywa kachupa kamoja tu amenyanganywa pesa zote sasa kama hauna roho ya mama you can't handle ukiwa na roho ya wasichana you lock up and go Nina ogea separation ukienda ugenini fanya ibada ya kuhama Kenya na kuacha mambo zetu hapa barabara ya America inaidagwa hivi nyinyi mwaida sisi tuko left wao gari ziko right steering yao iko upande ule tabia za huko za Ulaya na za hapa ni kama kifo na usigizi Ukiobea mtu aaguke hapo anapeleka wewe kotini. Kwa nini umenifanya hivyo nikaaguka? Separation. Dio zinasubua watu sana. Ameokoka lakini kuna madhabahu zingine bado zinamdai. Tunaogea na wewe ulitoa mtoto. Mwingine alitoa watoto tano, mwingine ine. 50% of you guys you know what you did. That becomes an altar in your generation. If you don't deal it proper, ata wede America, ata wede Kisumo, itabaki kwa laini yako. Number two, after meda ugenini, is connection. 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 Connection fee. Watu wanaenda kanisa hii, kanisa hii, kanisa hii kuna wale tulikuwa nao hapa, sasa wako huko, sasa wako huko, sasa wako huko. Na wherever you go hakuna kitu kinabadilika. Maana hautaki kutafuta madhabahu ya hiyo mtu. You guys are so superior. Kwamba mnaweza mkaruka. Lakini Isaka anamwambia mwanae, niletee hiyo. Niletee hiyo kitu mimi ni kule ni burudike moyo niweze kusaidia wewe upate hiyo kitu unataka na wadis people they don't care that watu hawajali na enda kanisa enda kuja kanisa tu na kuja hapa siku maandisho tamuona mugu it depends on your seriousness wewe utaingia ukute nyumba kama hii ilijengwa Hakuna hata msumali wako. Then uigie tu pale wewe uanze ku timeline ya blessing. Can you see you are lying yourself? Uhame hapa uende kanisa ingine. Hautaki kuuba madhabahu yako hapo. Hautaki kuuba madhabahu yako. Kuna pasta moja wa umoja. Alikuwa na kanisa yangu akafuga, akaenda Eldoret. Akaingia kanisa ingine. Nikaona amenitumia 1700 akasema kwa sababu nimepata mtu mwingine naomba sasa unitoe kwa anga yako nikamtumia message nikamwambia thank you very much na Mungu akubariki na uendelee nikaona mtu mwenye akili sababu uwezi kuhama hapa uende kule uende kule una madhabahu kama kumi ambazo zinakudai 
na madhabahu zingine mna nadhiri wagapi watatoa 1000 mitatoa tatu wagapi watatoa 1030 mitatoa ikaeda hauko wamemaliza umeeda na hiyo nadhiri sasa hizo ndizo zimeingia kwa aga yako aiwishi uone kwa aga yako tu vitu tunatebea bila mkia tugina tu na mkono tunakuja kupiga wewe kwa sababu ulitoka kwa nabii yule una ahadi kuna mtu jusi nimeona amelete bahasha yangu ya ya uhuru park ya 20 2015 bahasha na bado amelete vile niliitisha 2015 but nasema niliyeda nikaipata kwa saduku connection number four ya hapo ni fellowship offering when things are wrong or when you want to go to another level wao umetoka kwa baiskeri unataka kwenda kwa magari tabia ya magari na baiskeri ni tofauti unataka kuinua hiyo anga utoke kwa baiskeri watu wa baiskeri wanafanya mkono hivi wakiingia huku watu wa gari wanaweka signal hawatoagi mkono labda ule mtu mgeni you don't need wakati mambo ni mabaya you need fellowship offering ya kutetea mbele za Mungu Daudi akaenda akatoa sadaka ya kuteketesa na akatoa na fellowship offering sasa Bwana akamwambia malaika puguza hiyo mkono yako Tunaogea na mambo ya kuogea na Mungu sababu you can't claim you are a Christian na Yesu haogei na wewe ama hakutumii malaika. Kuna yale mambo amenielezea nitaogea na wewe baadaye. Number five, ni kujitabulisha. Sadaka ya kujitabulisha, endo kumpatie kuhani. Kujitabulisha, mimi naitwa Mwangi. Na nilikuwa nikishiriki pale, sasa ninataka kuwa mshirika wa hapa kwako. You can't come and tell hivyo hivyo. Unakuja na sadaka ya kujitabulisha sababu ni spiritual matter, si kitu ya mimi na wewe. Ni kitu ambacho kuna roho atakubali uigie. Mimi naweza kukubali uigie lakini roho akataye uigie. Naogea mambo ya vitu vitano muhimu. Andika hapo kwa kitabu chako mambo muhimu ndafudisha mambo muhimu na nifudishe jia saba za kuingia kwa roho wa Mungu Number one ni kusikia kusikia habari jema kama hujasikia you can't change kusikia Yesu anaponya Yesu anaokoa Yesu na batu ni kutafuta hicho umesikia. Kutafuta kile ambacho umesikia. Kwa nganga tumesikia nganga ni wapi? Tunataka kwa nganga. Kwa nganga ni huko. Anaenda anakuta nganga mwingine. Aa, ule wa gita. Kwa huyo ni hapa hivi. Kutafuta kile ulisikia. Watu wanatoka nyumbani wanakuja nauliza kwa neno ni wapi na anauliza kwa kanisa ingine anabio kwa neno ni huko kutafuta kile ambacho umesikia mwanamke msamalia no mwanamke yule alikuwa na navuja damu wakiwa na sakayo mwanamke amesikia tu kwamba kuna mtu anaponya watu sasa akaenda kutafuta Zakayo ni mtu mfupi. Akastamani amesikia habari za Yesu, aka akaenda kupada juu ya mti. Kutafuta kile umesikia. Nimesikia hii madhabahu mtu anabarikiwa agwa. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Namba tatu andika kuingia. Maana hata ukatafuta na huko ije, you have to come in. Spirit ina milango biguni kuna milango 
Unaweza kuingia hapa lakini mlango wa roho haujaingia. Mtu atakwambia niko hapa miaka 10 mimi hata sijaona baraka hii mtu sababu hakuingia rohoni. Aliingia nyumba hii ya mabati. Kuingia. Na baina ni kuamini sababu uwezi amini kama haujaona. Wale watu wakaja wakamwambia yule mama sasa tumeamini hata si kwa sababu yako tu, tumejionea wenyewe you come in then you see what i'm doing then you take unachukua sasa hatua kuamini sababu kama utasikia na utafute na uigie na ukose kuamini my friend utabaki hivyo tu kuna watu hapa hawaku hawaku amini Madika nasema Yesu akamwa mtu huyu akaja akiwa kamwambia mtoto wangu ni mgojwa. Yesu akamwambia nenda mwanao ameponywa. Yule mtu akaamini hilo neno. Akaenda. Akakuta mtoto wake ameponywa. Akauliza watu alipona saa gapi? Jana. Jana kama saa huyo mtu akajua ni wakati alikuwa na Yesu Kristo. Na patano ni kujishikilia. Kujishikilia. Kujishikilia kwa matatu. Imejaa. Kanisa, uduma kama hii yagu imejaa. Iko na vita. Kuna wale wako hapa abao hawataki mtu mugine mugeni ya kuje. Kuna wale wako hapa atakuvuja moyo. Unaeda kutoa? Hai, wee, si tumekutuulize tumekutoa hapa tumetoa. Mahali pa kujishikilia. There is God in heaven and God is justice. Ni mungu mwenye haki. Uwezi pigia simiti ya mtu hapa walinunua. Ye ya kakosa kupata is a point. Kujishikilia kwa ministry. Tafuta mahali ujishikilie. Uyu mwana muki alipokuwa natoka damu alisema nitashika guwe yake. Nitashika guwe yake na ninajua nitapona. Mahali pa kujishikilia. Mimi nigekua wewe kwa hii ministry, nigekua na mahali nimejishikilia. Two, one, nitakua muobaji wake. Two, mimi nitakua muobaji wa wala watu wanaobea. Wala watu wanaokoka. Three, Mimi takuwa muobaji wa wale watu wako manyubani. Mimi takuwa muobaji wa pesa. Huduma ipate pesa. Mimi takuwa muobaji wa mke wake. Kusimama na mke wake. Mana mke wake akitigizwa inatigizika hapa. Mimi takuwa muobaji wa watoto wake. Mana wakitigizika. Ye ni mutu hata kuwa na furaha. Hata kama atatuhubiria. Number six ni kulipa garama. Kulipa garama. Kitabu nifiki hapa ni meripa garama. Nimepeana duka. Nimewacha kanisa yagu ilikuwa kubwa mwabasa. Nimeuza gari yangu. Niripo kuja hapa niriuza gari yangu. Nimepeana maidi gunia meatano. Nimechija ngobe kuminabiri nimepeana. Garama. Garama toward that ministry. Ata mimi usi niwekere mkono. Haa. Ata staki uniwekere mkono. Aka muabia kubuka hile kasi nirifanya nikiwa mdogo. Kuna siku nitashindwa kutoka. Kupiga gita. Haki nitaumia. Nitaumia. Yesu wakamuabia Petero. Kuna siku itafika. Wata kupereka kuli ambako hau kupenda. Sijui. Nikizeka nitakuwa aje. But I would like to serve God. Mutumikie ni buwana saa hizi. Mukaliko na ngufu. 
Ndiyo yu anaya kuja akija otamwabia mungu kubuka. Kubuka 1980, kubuka 2019, utumishu wako niliku tumikia, tulikuwa na nganga. Anayasa mungu wakabia kansa ni sikuone kwa hui mtu melele. Usijaribu kumugusa hui mtu kabisa. Na kama itaku wako mungu wakamwabia ahabu. Kwa sababu menye nyekea. Nitaholdi hiyo haita kugusa wewe. Lakini utakapo odoka nitadili na watoto wako. Tafte ni vile mutalipa garama. Kulipa garama tu, unatebea na unajua, I have paid the price. I have paid the price. The level I am, I have paid the price of this level. Nimeripia garama hii. Ianga niko, nimeiripia. Na nitairipia. Leo nilitoka usiku kama saa tisa. Nikaeda hapo kuna mahali nimepeda sana. Nakaa chini kuna kamuti kamekaa kama kiti. Nikaoba hapo nikaoba. Na nilipo kuwa natoka ile shuka nilikuwa na ya maobi. Kashikuwa na, na kamui, kamuiba. Nikafosi kutoka. Ka, katoka. Sauti kaniabia kule ulikuwa meigia. Sasa umetoka. This will bring you into high calling. Itakulete kwa wito mkubwa. Wito mkubwa. Wito. High calling. Anamabia eda hapo kwa mifupa. Simama kwa mifupa. Iyo mifupa inaweze kaogea. Hai. Ah. Basi tabiri wabia mifupa msoge pamoja. Mifupa kaanza ku msoge pamoja. The more you grow in the Lord's spirit, the Lord will assign you into the highest office in the world. Hata kupatia ofisi ya bayo haija wai kupewa mtu duniani. Benihini ya na yake, serua na yake, tibi joshua kona yake, nganga kona yake. Kuna ofisi nyigi sana hazina mtu. Sasa ni vitu saba. Vitu saba, jia saba za kuigia kwa roho wa mungu. Kuna roho yuko hapa anakuja leo mkubwa sana. Baba yetu wa metupatia roho mkubwa. Nilienda kuomba tu, nikamaliza kuomba. Kaniabia Exodus 14, number 25, nikambua eda osome. Nikaenda nikasoma, madiku ya nasema, Walikuwa hamuna njia. Watu wote wanalia. Na Musa na ya kawa nalia. Na mungu wakamuliza. Nganga ni kiyo laalila. Unalia kwa nini? Kama bia. Nyosha mikono yako kuelekea. Kwa bahari. Nikuwa na maumivu kwa wale. Wako na kansa. Na wale wako na kidney problem. Na ninajua baba yangu watasikia. Ninajua. Mimi ninajua. Kama alintoa gerezani na hakanituma na irobi. Mimi ninajua. 
Mungu atafanya jambo. Musa alikuwa amefinyiliwa. Watu wale aliyaongoza hawana chochote na vita imechacha. Naye Musa akawa analia. Machozi ya mtu wa Mungu inafungua binguni kwa Mungu. Mungu akamwambia Musa, "Nikiulalila, nyosha mikono yako." Walipofuka wakaenda tena ngambo ile. Kukawa tena maji ni mbaya. Kukawa maji meharibika. Kukawa maji meharibika. Watu wakamukujia Musa. Wakamwambia sasa already umetuleta ngambo hii. Sasa ni kitu gani tumekufanyia? Oh God. Musa akaenda akamwambia Jehova loku shaka tena. Naye baba yangu akamwambia akamuonesha mti akamwambia kata hiyo matawi enda utupe kwa mtu nilikuwa nasikia nikiumia lakini kasikia haya yote itafanya Mungu aonekane jia saba zile za kuingia kwa roho namba 1 ni kumwamini Mungu namba 2 ni kumwamini Yesu Number three, ni kumpokea roho wa Mungu. Kuna Yesu na kuna roho. Number nne ni kuabudu. Kuabudu Mungu tu. Wewe ndiye Mungu na sairi. Wewe ndiye Mungu mwenye uwezo. Wewe ndiyo Jehovah Rima. Wewe ndiyo Mungu mwenye uwezo. Jua na mwesi ni yako. Oh, holy, 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 holy. Number tano, ni kutoa tambiko tambiko ya wakati tambiko namba sita ni kutubu ndio kama kuna dhambi ambayo imezuia watu wanapotubu Mungu anaondoa hiyo dhambi mimi si kwamba sijafanya dhambi kuna wakati nilivamiwa nikiwa mtu na nikafanya dhambi lakini hiyo haiwezi kunizuia, haiwezi kusuia Mungu kukupenda. Unaweza ongoza watu na waende wafanye dhambi kama vile akani. Sasa watu wa kitubu inalegesha Mungu pale. Naye Mungu anasema ikiwa watu wangu watatubu. Na warudi kwa njia basi nitaenda pamoja nao. Namba saba, about ya mwisho ni kwenda pamoja na kuhani wa, wa, wa Mungu wa wakati huo. Kwenda pamoja na kuhani wa Mungu wa wakati huo. Nabii mzee amewacha kazi. Sasa ni kijana nabii. Shimama na miguu yako. Kibia mara moja hapa inua mikono yako juu. Kuna watu wanakuja hapa. Na wewe ndiye mtarajiwa. Sogea hapa tu. Kuna makosa mengi naweza kuwa imejificha kwako. Mengine umejua na mengine haukujua. Umejikuta tu mambo imekitendeka. There is God in heaven. Kuna vitu ziko kwa anga yako na wewe haujui. Angalia hii koti yangu na hii tai yangu na shati yangu nimevaa. Nilipakiwa hizi nikienda ndio nikuja nazo leo asubuhi. Na hakuna nyingine huko. Basi nikivaa sijui wasichana walifanya nini shati yangu. Shati ni mpya sijui walichoma na pasi na wakaweka kwa na mimi nikaamka usiku nikavaa
Mimi siku taka kuvaa hii shati imetaruka. Na mimi siku jua na mke wangu hakujua. Wale walifanya hivyo imechomwa na pasi ni wasichana na wakaregesha kwa suti. Mtu anaweza akanihukumu kwa sababu shati imetaruka. But in your spirit katika roho yako kuna mambo ambayo imeletwa na watu na umebaki sasa ukihukumiwa today you can make a pill and tell god my father consider i was not there when my mother was committing this i was not involved siku elezwa worship the lord inua mikono yako juu Hakuna mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe Hakuna mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe Sina baba na mama aliye kama wewe Sina baba na mama aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu na dada aliye kama wewe Sina baba mwingine aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu na dada aliye kama wewe Sina baba na mama aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu na dada aliye kama wewe Sina baba yango aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu mwingine aliye kama wewe Sina baba na mama aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu na dada aliye kama wewe Hapa nimesi mama na uko ninakwenda Hapa nimesi mama ina uko Sina baba mwingine aliye kama wewe Sina ndugu na dada aliye kama anawe sababu Shaka la 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 la, raba baba sikitika. Yiri 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 yiri. Oh, 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 Shemeni anaweza Uweza Opa uweza Uniongo Zeniete Niongo ze Lululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululul
Ninaachilia anga mpya kwa maisha yako. Na kuondolea ile makosa ambayo haujui. Na kuondolea makosa kama hii. Na kuondolea makosa kwa ndoto zako haukujua walikuotesha. Hii nguo sikujua nikivaa. Sikujua kuna mambo haukujua na unahukumiwa nayo usihukumiwe kuanzia leo oh yes my father haukujua hauku wako haukuuzishwa ila jina walikuita hawakukuuliza uliitwa jina la mtu tu uandalewe hukumu hiyo haukujua na mimi sikujua luko shekeleka Simama na miguu yako lift up your hands Alleluia You are alpha and omega We worship you alone You are one this so be praised You are alpha you are inua mikono yako na ufunge macho yako Oh, lo, 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 lo. We worship you alone. You are one. We give you hope, na Jesus. We worship you alone. You are one. This to be prayed. We give you hope, na Jesus. He was. You are alone. You are worthy to be praised. You deserve honor, Jesus. You deserve honor and the glory for the freedom you gave to me. You deserve honor, Jesus. You deserve honor and the glory for the blessing you get. Oh, lo, 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 ma, shande, le, 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 ma, 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 shande, le, 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 Ole, ole, ole. Ole, Spirit. Ole, Spirit. Ole, Spirit. Release your power. Ole, Spirit. Ole, Spirit. Ole, Spirit. Release your power. Anga mpia inafunguka Anga mpia inafunguka Inafungukia Inafunguka Inaondolewa obstacle Every spiritual obstacle Makosa ambayo au kujua Inaondolewa kwako Utumu ambao walikuwekea Hauta tumika tena kwanzia leo Kadiga jina la Yesu Kristo Jina lako lirifichwa Leo ni meondolewa pale walificha Jina lako ni lificha Nyota yako ilikamachwa Leo inaachiliwa nyota yako Mali nyota yako waliweka Imeanza kupata mocho Inapata mocho hiyo nyota Imeanza kuwaka mocho Inakuletea revival Inakuletea mocho Holy Ghost fire Fire, fire, fire Touch all over, touch the body Touch the body Oh yes La Pashaka. You are not going to struggle. Wewe si atima nabi. Nabi. Nabi ana inulewa. Nabi ana inulewa. Loko shokoreka.
unabii wako unaregeshwa spirit iliyo tolewa kwako inaregeshwa au tatumika tena shamsoni shamsoni shamson 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 toka huko shamson usikuve nao usikuve nao shamson usikuve nao come out of them now Nabi hakuva inja Jerusalem. Nabi hakuva inja Jerusalem. Restoration time. Hofu inaondolewa kwako. This is restoration time. Mawasa binadamu inaondolewa kwako Daudi. Daudi! Mawazo ya binadamu. Hofu inaondolewa kwako you are the mighty man you are chosen by god you are chosen by god you are chosen by god no matter the surrounding nation you are chosen appointed by god to present jesus kana the new nekedoreke ushije wakanga hicho na chochote tena wali nicholea laini na mimi nawacholea laini hakuna atakayevuka laini hakuna wao atakayevuka hiyo laini nimechora leo Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili eh eh Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili Bwana wa mabwana Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili eh eh Oh Bwana Abane mercy mama Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili eh Yesu sahili kuabudiwa una na uko ni nakwenda sahili kuabudiwa oh sahili oh nikifika ulaya sahili kuabudiwa baba yangu sahili oh Baba ba na mama sahili kwa mimi inua mikono yako sahili Yesu Fungua kinywa chako tabiri mambo mema tabiri mambo mema no mata gharama yao no mata ni gari ama ni ndege no mata ni shamba ama ni nini wewe tabiri wewe ni nabii tabiri ukitabiri inatoka kule ukitabiri inaachiliwa vipovu wanapona viweta wanatembea kansa inaponywa hiv inaponywa vinema wanakombolewa watu wa Mungu wanabarikiwa baraka imeachiliwa walio kinyume chako wameondolewa walio hapa wakasema utavuka wameondolewa wameondolewa farao wameondoka farao wameondoka farao na wale wengine wameondolewa daraja imetengenezwa daraja imetengenezwa leo mko juu ya daraja tunakwenda ngambo tunakwenda ngambo misiri imeisha tunakwenda ngambo hatuudi misiri tena no matter what ninatabiri hii ni mwanzo mpya mtaona mkono mtaona mkono mtaona yesu Yesu amekuja malaika wameshuka malaika wameshuka the angel the angel of the lord is here the angel of the lord is here the power is here the anointing is here the anointing of age the anointing now it is 
it's not released upon you now you can speak as a man of God you can speak now To be praised. Lift up your hands in the name of the Lord. I now disconnect you from the old altar. In the name of Jesus, I'm now connecting you to the new altar. The spirit of the day. Dr. Zako Zimebadilika. Mawasa yako may change. There will be no fear. There will be no threat. In the name of Jesus, I command In the name of Jesus Christ. kilo. Jifanyie ibada. Ni lazima utafanya ibada ya kuondoa wale walikuwa kwa kwa anga yako. Nataka muwe na akili za kuinua madhabahu ya familia. Rahab dia mainulia familia yake madhabahu. Esther Dia meinulia Wayaudi madhabahu Esther akasaidia watu wa mungu Kisha walipo marisa akawabia Muta nipatia mnini mimi Kasema ok Chukua hii kitabaya nyekudu weka hapa Ita wazazi wako wakuje You can do much better Umeokolewa, sasa be something different. Do things because of the kingdom. Stand in front of God on behalf of the other people. Mwanamuke musamalia, alipo ona yeso, akaeda kabia watu, just come. Ukisoma katika John 4, Wasamalia na wayaudi ata kikombe hawaku shiriki. Hii mlango tukonayo, tumepata kwa watu watatu. Tumepata kwa huyo mama msamalia for the first time. Watu kuja. Sababu ya yesu. Sababu kulikuwa na desturi. Wasamalia hawaku shirikiana na wayaudi. Ata kikombe ukinyo maji nacho wale hawaku nyo. But yesu wakamabia yule mama. 
Sasa siku inakuja na imefika ambapo hamtaenda kuabudu Mungu kwa milima. Mama yule alipoenda she's a funny lady. Hakuenda kuita yule mtu yako naye kwa nyumba yake. But alienda kuambia watu just come. Kujeni sasa. Muone mtu amenielezea mambo ambayo watu wakaja wakasema sasa tumeona hata si kwa sababu ya wewe tumeamini wenyewe. Mtu wa pili ni mwizi. Mwizi msalabani ndiye ametukaribishia Yesu. Akamwambia Yesu unisamee ukifika kwa ufalme wako. Mtu wa tatu wa mama nataka mbadilike. Tokeni kwenye hiyo small mentality. Ladies are very strong in the Bible. God was using them. Yule mama akaenda na mafuta akamiminia Yesu. Wale wakasema huyu ni mwenye dhambi. Yesu akasema ameadaa mazishi yangu. Mungu akamwambia Elija, "Nimeadaa mwanamke." Atalisha wewe. Mwanamke akaangalia shida ya kwake. Akaenda kwa nabii, hakwenda kwa waganga. Akamwambia, "Watoto wangu wanachukuliwa mateka." Na bwana yangu alikuwa ni mwanabii. Kwa mama wakaagalia Yesu hivi katika Luka 8 walikuwa ni wale wametolewa mapepo mke wa kuuza na nani they were helping Jesus using their own resources tumepata hii neema kwa sababu ya wale watu walikuwa wako mbele so we must work hard na sisi wale watakao kuja i don't know what will happen when i'm 80 i'm 100 i don't know but i would like to do my duties before i'm old so that i will remain now nataka kutoka leo mubadilishe akili zenu wewe fanyika home ya homeless mungu aliniambia ati watoto wangu wanakuja sasa wengine wanatoka meru na miguu wengine wanatoka Mwabasa sijui na miguu mwingine sijui amekuja kutoka ukabani sasa nikauliza Mungu mimi nilifikiri watu wana Mercedes na Marriage Rover bwana kaniambia hawa ndio nimekuitia hawa hawa ndio wanaweza kukuelewa fanyika home ya hawa watu unaona wame na Mungu atakupatia mali nyingi na atakupatia miaka mingi sababu hakuna kama wewe hakuna nilipea mwingine sadaka yote siku ile wapi hiyo sadaka mmetoa hapo inalidi nito Inda li li nilito Inda li li nilito Inda li li nilito You are the mighty woman of God you are undefeatable Umetoka kwa hiyo sasa Your life will never be the same again Somebody come here Fugue hii kamfuko hapa Gudia kule. Gaya kura dime na gwe kema udumega.
wale mko nazo msimame kama mother kama father kama Yesu watu wanamwambia Yesu wachana na huyu mwanamke aende na mtupigia kelele chanasema we chana naye tumepata mlango kwa mwanamke msamaria kwa ule mwizi pale kukiri Yesu na kwa mama yule alimwagilia Yesu mafuta na kwa Paulo hawa ndio ametufungulia mlango take my word ufugulie watu wengine mlango waone Yesu wako <laughs>